Today's video is brought to you by the two haters from Friday's video. If you're here, I must be doing something right. Hey guys, how's it going? How was your weekend? Was it good? How was your Valentine's Day? Did it suck? It was good. It was good. That's good to hear. It's good to hear. Ah. Uh, so I'm here again. I'm still here. Not dead. Not leaving. Sorry guys. I know. I know the two haters from Friday want me to, uh, want me to probably leave, jump off a building, go have sex with a woman or something like that. Well, I'm here to tell you that I will not jump off a building, but I will have sex with a woman. And if you're good looking, let me know. Today, Microsoft announced Windows Mobile 7. Um, it's their new, uh, well, yeah, it's their new OS. If I could just speak, that would help immensely. I'm not sure what I think about uh, Windows Mobile 7's sort of modular interface. Uh, modular or sort of text-based interface versus the WebOS, Android, iPhone. Um, they're doing more icons. Um, I guess I sort of like that in terms of how it looks. Um, I've I've looked at a couple things online. They said it looked pretty cool. I guess I'm not all that impressed. I'm I, like I said though. I really cannot pass a lot of judgment on because I don't think it's fair. I mean, I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy, so I really need to be. Uh, unbiased there, so I'm going to do my best to do that, and maybe eventually, if I ever get to see one at, like, Best Buy or something, I'll post something on that. Um, but it looks sort of cool. It really does. Um, wow, I'm really sort of, uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm contradicting myself. Like, I think it sort of looks cool, but at the same time, it doesn't, it doesn't have what I like. So I really do like the look of Android, um, Android, iPhone, WebOS sort of thing. Um, you know, see what happens. Uh, I mean, right now I've got I've got uh, this phone. If I could hold it up on the right side, it's a UG or UX830, I think. Excuse me while I figure this out because now it's triggered my OCD. Yeah, I think it's a UX830. I know it's an 830, I don't know if it's UX or AX or VX or D DMX or SEX or whatever. Yeah, I want a smartphone. This is sort of cool. It's got a touch screen and, you know, touch screen. But it's not what I like. Um, I'm looking to get a smartphone that so I can stay connected all the time. And So for me, from that point, from that perspective, Windows 7, that Windows 7 mobile looks actually pretty neat. But at the same time... I like, I'm I'm actually becoming a big fan of Android just because of how it can customize it, you know. Uh, we'll see what iPhone 4.0 brings us. Maybe it'll bring, maybe it'll bring everything I want, you know. Uh, I, I'm wanting better feeds, so that way it can be like, oh, I have a new text message. I don't have to see the stupid badge. Um, I'm just going to use my iPod here. And, you know, it's got the badge notifications. Sorry, I got sent a message on Facebook, apparently. But, you know, it's got those badge notifications and that kind of stuff, so, you know, got like that. But I like this, I like the look of the of the OS that these use versus... The point that I was getting at was that I really like Android's, um, how they handle text messages and that kind of stuff. It's, you know, it shows up right in that upper bar, you just sort of bring it down and you go, you know, I'm not having to exit out of my iPod app, go to the mail, go, oh, I've got, you know, I mean, I get that push notification, and I can do that, but that really exits me out of whatever I'm doing, versus on Android when I'm messing, you know, if I'm if I'm on sports tap or whatever, and then I get a email, I just go, I drag it down, and I select it, and I, I like that a lot better than the push notification. Hopefully OS 4.0 brings that on the iPhone, never know. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, even if they bring that kind of stuff out, maybe, well, if they bring that out, I mean, that's on my iPod. Uh, the really thing I want from Apple is Verizon. There's absolutely no 3G coverage in iOne. That's a problem. And that's something that I would like to see uh, get fixed. Um, that's not necessarily on AT&T. I would, I would just like to see it go to Verizon because that's a lot better coverage here. Um, even better, I'd like to see it just go to all the carriers here or become universally unlocked with CDMA, GSM. Uh, because, well, okay, for those of you who are unaware, GSM is the SIM cards. Uh, that's what, like, iPhone uses, uh, T-Mobile, uh, iPhone, T-Mobile, 
I think those are the main ones. I mean, I think there's like Altel, but I think they got bought by Verizon or something like that. I mean, there's a bunch of little like companies that probably that use GSM as well. But nonetheless, GSM is the SIM cards, and then CDMA is cards with is our phones without the SIM cards. So that's Sprint, Verizon, US Cellular. I'm only saying US Cellular because I live here in Iowa, and it's it's big here. Go out of Iowa and you're screwed, but it's big here. So that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm still looking for a good title of the show. I could call it the I could call it the haters love this show. Um, whatever. Um, um, I think I've got some music. I'm gonna work on a little bit more. But if you guys, I haven't gotten anything. But if you guys would have any ideas for music, uh, and if you're reading this from the future, if my music sucks. If you still want to send in any ideas? Let me know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, peace.